<clears throat> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you are. Uh, welcome to Breakfast Spelunky for the 11th of January, 2021. Uh, I'm your host, Andy Nealon, and uh, Nick, my co-host, managed to get to Cosmic Ocean. He beat Hundon, I think, a week ago, or two weeks ago, and now he got to Cosmic Ocean. I have yet to beat Hundon, so I guess I'm not the last. Zach hasn't beaten Hundon. Uh, Doug probably beat Hundon in, I don't know, October? Or earlier, I think, because him he was playing like a lot during the early during the, during our early access. But hey, today could be the day. That said, the daily will not be that because the daily has the weirdest placement. Whoops, messed up the cables. The daily I played on PSN last night it has the weirdest placement of uh, of the chest, and maybe I'll get to it. I literally got into a situation where I had to wait for the ghost to kill me. I had no bombs and no ropes. So it's pretty, it was pretty sparse on resources. So I'm going to play that first just to get it out of the way, and that way I can get pl back to playing the actual stuff that I want to play, um, which is other seeds that are not the daily. So we'll see. <clears throat> uh, uh, I had a very productive music weekend, uh, and I'm now well underway to get EP3 out the door. Uh, <laughs> your caveats are noted. <laughs> Thanks, Digital Iliad. Um, I'm well underway to get, let me turn this down a bit for myself, uh, to get EP3 out the door for the next Bandcamp Friday, which I think is on the 4th of February. Um, I'll have more than enough tracks. In fact, I'll have to curate, which is always a good thing. But yeah, I wrote like three songs in one day. Like no song for three weeks, or like working on one song for three weeks and it's not coming together, and then three songs in one day. So... Creativity is a mystery. E3 hype. <laughs> it's good. I like it. I'm really happy with what came out last weekend. I guess I just... I don't know what I... I don't even know what I did. I think maybe I slept well for a change. Uh, okay, let's go get you. Oh, and I got the... I think as I wanted to play some music with my son, I got the Moog 1 reactivated and man, that, that thing's just, that thing is just crazy. Yep, I got the AFX Twin shirt. I got the AFX station out right where my coffee mug is right now. That's the plan for today. After the stream. Um, I got the OP1 hooked up. I'm starting to use the arpegi arpeggiator on that thing. Um, I haven't tried the selective tuning on the Apex station yet, but that's what I want to do today. Um. Oh wait, let's not die. I already did this. Okay. Oh wait. Oh yeah, and the other thing that was insulting, of course, is that, mm, how did I do this? feel like I was very careful to not have, to not drop that character down there. I just got this and this. I grabbed you again. I went here. I roped up here. I do this. I get this. Drop that down. Oh wait, no, that was the mistake. That's a mistake. So I go here, I go here, I go here. Do this. That may have already been the mistake, because now I think I'm not going to make it rope-wise. Let's see. Because it's it's in that terrible, terrible place. I have to rope up here, obviously. I have to rope up here. Maybe this is fine. Let's see. Well, definitely also, if I bomb here, it's going to tick off the shopkeeper. But... I don't really know how else to do it. Um, there's a jetpack in the back layer here, if I recall correctly, and you can get enough bombs to bomb to Vlad's castle later. How do I get to the... Oh, I get enough bombs to bomb... Oh, okay. Well, okay, let's ignore it. Then let's ignore it. Where's the... Oh, the back layer is down there, right? Okay, so... I'll take your advice. And go into the back layer. Hey, Jeremy. 
be careful to not get hit by that trap. Wait, that's the back layer, so... Oh wait, there is stuff up there. It's not a jetpack though. Uh, and I don't know how to get there from here. And I think that this is... Yeah, I didn't have fun getting this key. I'm not doing it. Right? I'm not doing it. Because yesterday, when I played it on the daily, on the P on PSN, I just basically had to die to the... Does anything happen if I put the key on the altar? Nope. Yeah, it's just get I'm just going to get out of here. <clears throat> yeah, Jeremy, I'm cheating a little bit, or a lot, however you want to see it, because... Uh, Rokway just told me that there are enough bombs later to bomb the Vlads. So I'm not even gonna, so I didn't even, ah, oh, Jesus Christ. F. Always fun. Oh, and there's... Okay, how am I doing? I have one rope left. One measly rope. Are you kidding me? Just stupid game. Like, is this gonna work? Like, I don't think I can actually... Well, I guess I have to try it, because I would like the Kapala. Such... So this is... Yeah, let's see if I can... Okay, that looks like it's doable. But I do need a rope to get out of this. Okay, more altars later. Well, I did it now, so let's just get that out of the way. I mean, a 1-3 Kapala is pretty amazing, but I also have zero ropes, so... Uh. Not sure if it'll be here, but make sure to tell Andy to go down the left side on 4-3 back layer. Well, let's see if I make it to 4-3. <laughs> but if I... but if yes, then... Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, let's see if there's anything on the back layer here. Nah. Well, that does look good, but I also would have to bomb my way out of it. Right? Nah. Yeah, being locked in that chamber then with, with, with the... The dude is like, kind of weird. Oh, this isn't particularly great. Not taking any of that. Double bomb gets you through, I think it pays off. Well, now I'd need a rope to get back up and I have no rope, so I guess that... Man. Nah, I, that's, that basically solves itself because I don't have the rope to do it. I hope those weren't the many ropes you spoke of. That would be very unfortunate, but oh well. This daily seems shit. I'll just say it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sure. Oh, could have made up with a turkey. Yeah, you're right. Also not gonna work. Oh, that worked. Okay, fine, good. At least I'm at three. What? That that triggered. Okay, very hard daily. Challenge accepted. We shall see. Oh boy. Oh boy. Out! 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 Man, how about some... Ah, it's not challenging enough yet. I need more challenge. Make it more challenging. Too easy. Oh, I have the skeleton key. So 
let's wait for that dude to take off. Thank you. Oh wait, I don't, oh man, I'm so tired. I didn't do it, I didn't do the noise. I didn't do the voice. Man, yeah, there are a lot of altars. I'm not kidding. How am I doing? Get out of here, get out of here. Uh, I guess I could continue sacking, right? Why not, right? I was sa I'm trying to get up to the jelly. And I have six health and the Kapala, so whatever. Hey, Azamandius. It was rough. I didn't end up finding extra bombs, and I died in the process of trying to perfectly bomb my way down to Vlad. Yeah, I'm, fr I'm kind of afraid that's going to happen here, too. Or that I might just straight up, like, give up on the idea of even bombing down to Vlad. Well, let's definitely do this. Just to see if there's anything good over here. Uh, there's a chest there, so it's a chest. Crate. Okay. Good start. Whatever, three bombs. It's probably not worth 10,000, but hey, when you have no bombs, now I have six bombs. Uh, ropes, gloves, any of those things would be great. great. Uh, Tiamat win will place you high on the leaderboards today. Okay. Okay, let's do that. Let's, let's, uh, well, let's see what I can do with respect to, because six bombs is for sure not going to be enough to get down to Vlad for me. So maybe that's bombs. Gotta try it, right? Gotta try it. Nope, that was garbage. That was a almost absolutely literal garbage for the game I'm playing here right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. So I feel like I need to go over there and see what's what because, well, see, that's not bad. Oh, whoa, man, you... No! No! Oh, no. Oh, no. What did I do? What did I just do? Are you... Okay, this is going to be interesting. Cook... Yeah, no, no, that's the only thing I can do, right? Oh, boy. Watch this shit. I knew... Jesus Christ. Now I'm going to have to jump around this doofus. He's probably going to jump up in the air in the second I jump over him. You know this is going to happen, right? Okay. See, four bombs. We're just getting out of here, right? So I don't need that anymore. So let's just take this. There's not enough bombs. Like, I can't, I can't perfectly... Maybe with six, but it sounds like even that's very hard to pull off. Yeah, we're definitely just going for uh, a regular win, right? That'd be nice. Let's see what I can do. Why did you skip the key? Oh, this is impossible to get to. It was like behind the shopkeeper in like the most inopportune spot with no resources to get there. Like in a really, really shitty place. Like maybe the worst placement I've seen. 
Like, and you, and even to bomb there, you had to piss off the shopkeeper. Right? It was, it was horrendous. Man, this is kind of crazy town. Is this where I'm going? Yep, that's where I'm going. Ah. You need to spend a few resources to get it. Yeah, yeah, like a few. But as, as I say, when, the way I played it last night on PSN, I uh, I was in the hole, got the chest, and got the Ujit the Eye. Sorry, I got to take a sip of coffee. And then... So wait, what am I doing here? I just need to get to the second level, right? Because I don't need the Ankh. I mean, do I get the Ankh here anyway? Probably, right? Why not? Yeah, I get the arm, right? Oh, hey, Hicks. It's a weird one. It's a weird one. Yeah, I'll go get the arm. Why not? It's a good item. Uh, this, is, of course, has become boring at this point. Minus the fact that I'll probably die if I don't focus on it. Oh wait, I don't have, you know what? I'm getting out, I do not have the, I can't do this. I'm not getting the arc. It's a great item, I get it, but I, I'm i gonna die right now because I don't have, because I don't have the cape and I, I'm gonna mess it up. Um, have the devs mentioned whether daily seeds are tuned to generally be more difficult than the usual proc chain? I, they haven't and I don't think that's, I doubt that's the case. Oh, I had a heartbreaking run yesterday, right? Definitely, for the first time, I'm now in a situation where I regularly die to those traps if I'm not paying attention, which is almost always. Okay, die. Let me get here. I guess gambling here is still a good a good idea, right? Good stuff. Possibility of getting more health later. Uh, I don't know if I want that power pack, but sure. I guess I keep it, right? No rope. Nope. No rope. pack does to the ice. Equip the pack and test. Yeah, it's fire rate. I think for a lot of weapons, it's fire rate for the projectile weapons. Uh, I guess, like, do I want to get the. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go there. I mean, I guess there's no harm in doing that. Ah, uh, come on, let's get, to, let's get to real runs. Oh, and a lot less recoil, right. Die on your way down, skeleton. Okay, 
Okay. This is very breezy, I have to say. It's like, ooh, look, I'm just walking through the game with not a care in the world. It's really weird. Thirty-six. Oh wait, what's going on here? Don't fall off rope ladders while firing like the shotgun. Oh really? That's nice. If that's true, uh, it says thirty-six plus hours of speed running Splunky Two, hosted by ESA in the lower hundred four days. That's nice. I'm looking forward to it because I'm doing a. I'm teaching a workshop right now, so it's a lot of preparation work, and the workshop is in China, so I have to teach it from six to nine p.m. my time until Thursday, and then I'm just going to go all in on on the ESA thing. Because the uh, the AGDQ left like a giant speedrunning size hole in my heart. Uh, now that it's gone. Four three, there was an underground door you could bomb for a free Ankh save. That's unfortunate, but yeah, this was not going to happen, right? And in fact, this is going to be this is going to suck for me now, because I actually have to find. I have to find it. Oh, there's the back there. I have to find it, right? Because I don't have, I can't glide down. Well, but the good news here is that I do have. Whoa! What the hell was that? Do I run up to them and then freeze them? I think that's probably the way to go, right? Or is it like this? Oh God! Oh wait, you're immune. You're immune to it. No, no, no. Yep. Immune to it. Well, that's a little bit unfortunate, but oh well. So be it. Can I farm you for blood? I think I can. Well, this is not gonna end well. Do I have the spiky boots? I do, but the dude does a hand clap, right? Oh boy, you garbage person. Oh, hand clap. Oh, Jesus Christ, get out of my face. Oh, no. Well. Yep, ropes and spikes. That was that was a hor horrible horrible daily. Check leaderboards. I will, but they haven't populated yet, right? Oh wait, you mean like the leaderboards here? Uh... Wow! You got to 782 on that daily? Is that your is that your personal best? Man, 782 782 is how long did that take two hours two and a half hours you must have been thinking at that point i got this today right if you make it to 82 you must have thought this is it this is the run well congratulations on 82 and i hope you get to 99 soon as it looks like that's in within easy reach uh yeah what a weird daily I'm devastated. Yeah, I bet. I mean, I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to. I, I wanted to be positive. <laughs> but yeah, I get it. I understand why at 782 you'd be devastated. Um, but also, 782! That's fantastic! Both happy and sad. Those are the best! That's Those are the best emotions. Cherish the moment, Jeremy. Cherish the moment. There's only so many of those you get in life. I 
I was gonna play Half-Life Alex for the first time and end up doing a three hour daily run. <laughs> well, three hours is about as far as I'm into Half-Life Alex. Um, I like it a lot. I just haven't, I don't know why I'm not playing more of it. I, just, I haven't touched it in like half a year. I played like three hours of it a half a year ago. And I'm like, this is really good. And I don't like VR stuff, right? I'm not a huge fan. Um, not because it makes me nauseous, it's because I don't like the whole commotion. And quite frankly, I don't like I don't like stuff draped over my head. Um, but yeah, I have to if I'm a response being a responsible adult, I have to play and will play, want to play, I shouldn't say have to play. I want to play a lot of Hypnospace Outlaw today in preparation for our Thursday recording with Zalavir Nelson. Um, hey, Jeff. What's up, Andy Stream? Jeremy Jealous, you have Half-Life Alex to look forward to. Oh, Jeff, you've played, yeah, you've played through it, right? How long is that game? Like 15, 20 hours? Did you guys see a Nick made Cosmic Ocean? Yeah, 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 he's, yeah, of course I did. <laughs> Trust me, he's blasted it everywhere. Um, okay, let's take this. Uh, I'm gonna say I should get the rope pile, but I want the pace, so let's do that. I have no desire to already get into a fight with a shopkeeper. Like, if I can come back up here later at a good trade, fine. Is that already enough? No, that's not enough. That could be enough. Let's see. Yeah, that's definitely enough. Oh, also, I definitely heard a pug here, so let's go get extra ropes first. Let's try to not get hit by this dude. Oh, there we go. Oh shit, did I mess that up? I think I messed that up. Yep, I messed that up. It's two ropes now. Well, does that even make sense? Well, I guess I got plus one rope. Okay, fine. Uh, where's the pug coming from? Oh, no! Not from that far down, for sh that's for sure. That's what I wanted to do. Wow. Good job, Andy Nealon. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Gah. Okay, where's... Are you in there? Well, I have four. I have four ropes, so I might as well go. Where the hell is the pug? Hmm. Bottom, somewhere down here. Okay, it's Jesus. Twelve-ish, perfect length. Okay. I should definitely. I mean, I. Oh, are you kidding me? How bad am I at this game? On a scale of 1 to 10? Don't answer that question, please. Where the hell is the... I mean, I guess I give up. I'd love to get... Anyone here? I mean, I... Was I not hearing... Was I not hearing the pet? Was I just hearing the turkeys? I was just hearing the turkeys. Man. That's weird. Um, man, of course, now I want to play that. And of, course, and of course, I have no time to play that today. Or do I? Maybe I'll play some more Half-Life Alex today. Okay, here's to another. Well, there's the key. Okay, so at least, at least doesn't this doesn't look as shite as the last one? I think. Oh, oh come on. Okay, I have to bomb in here. Oh, you get out of here. That didn't kill him. That did not kill. Well, you're, I'm gonna kill you anyway. rest. Okay, now 
am I now I'm losing my mind. Okay, so there's the pug and there's the altar. And I need to rope back out of here. Do I have six bombs? This isn't worth okay. I wish I was better at placing a bomb so that, that just always results in a staircase. But I'm not I, I always mess it up. Always, always mess it up. Okay, so this needs to be bombed out. health so that's super cool let's get some throwable here to trigger that dart trap there we go perfect that's not i didn't want any of that but sure go this way I'm not even going to comment on that anymore. I'm not even going to comment on that lunacy anymore. That, that's not what I want to do. I want to push in the other direction. I have lost count of how many times I've had to... Uh, how many times I've messed that up. Like how many times I've inadvertently walked over the exit with the pet. Uh, I don't like this. Let's throw that. There we go. Five bombs, okay. This looks better. Oh, it's the I got sticky bombs, man. If only I had a functioning memory, wouldn't that be nice? Three health. I'm probably gonna use a bomb here to get this extra turkey health. Uh, also, hear a pug by a student that's on the other side. Yeah, it sounded like it was on the left. moment yeah my experience of playing half-life alex was just that it was really fun to be back in city fun i don't know if fun is the right word but being back in city 17 was just amazing like definitely a huge pang of nostalgia Okay, I see that you're up there, but I'm only gonna grab you if I actually knew that there's an altar here. Hey, Xanagir. Uh, how's the ESA prep going? Uh, it came up earlier today, and we're all pretty excited. I'm especially excited because I'm gonna be working my ass off for the next four days, and I think it starts Thursday, is that true? Play on a dance pad today. Oh boy. Um, I just saw someone post something about someone playing the Celeste Seasides on a dance pad, which supposedly is amazing. It's going to be great practice. <laughs> uh, I have yet to play Celeste, which is embarrassing. I get it, but I, you know, I still have that to look forward to. And who knows, maybe for good reasons. Uh, Celeste is legendary, you gotta stream it. Oh, I'd do that. I'd stream some Celeste if people want me to. I, uh, I used to be pretty good at Super Meat Boy back in the day, but that's also a decade ago, right? So, or like V, 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 V. I love games like that. It's just that I don't know if I can still pull that off. But yeah, I'll stream Celeste.
because yeah, we might have uh, who knows. Maddie's been on our guest li our wish list for a very long time. Um, and also, thanks everyone for the guest suggestions. There's like a there are a bunch of people in there that were already on the list, and people who I probably thought about at one point or another, but forgot to add to the list. And then people mention them in in Discord, so that's super helpful. Um, This, I don't think this is fully converged yet, but... Uh, Zaniger, can you explain to Jeff what ESA is? Is it European Speedrunning Association? I don't know what the acronym stands for. But in any case, Jeff, it's an event where there's going to be, like, assembly. European Speedrunning Assembly. Uh, Speedrunners Assembly. There's going to be an event, uh, a big speedrunning event coming up. Uh, sure, For sure someone can share the flyer here in the chat. Uh, while I die to while I die in the flames. Uh oh. Uh, oh boy. I would like to be acknowledged for that save just now. I hope everyone saw what just happened. I mean, I'm not claiming that I'm a that I'm a star gamer, <laughs> to use the term that everyone seems to prefer, but I think that was pretty that was pretty good. That was definitely 100% not my active brain. Oh boy. Here we go again with the one millions, with the millions of millions of millions of these dudes who I will try to all kill. Okay, that's not gonna trigger, that's gonna trigger, good. Man, look at this nonsense. So many vampires. Well, I'll deal with all of you on my way out. Okay, the right side looks good. I hope. Oh, then again, that is also a thing that has happened to me one too many times. I think I might just stomp on this. How many stomps do I need here? Too many, right? The answer, I think, is just too many. Uh, this is not great. I'm not gonna lie, this is not great. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, do I just try to go out left? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know if that was the better version. Let's see. Let's see what... Oh boy! Jesus Christ! Uh, nope. Sorry, buddy. There's nothing. Man, I backed out at one health. Yay! Ugh. Stay on you to maybe... Well, I feel like I have to cook you here because I'm at one health. That's not a good place to be. Dudes, could you please flame out already? There, thank you. Okay, so I can definitely get you. Question is, when do I... First, let's get rid of some clear and imminent danger here. Yeah, sure, why not? This could be, could be in there. Something good could be in here.
crate, 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 crate. Ooh, wait, I don't want it to be crushed. Too cr no. Nice. Nice. Going great. Going great. Right in time to not allow myself to get crushed by that block. Perfect. I will engage with the chat in a second. But first, let me save this buddy. And I don't know if this is going to go well, but let's try it. Nope, did not go well. Uh, India reflexes are finally tuned after four months of Spelunky 2. <laughs> okay, we hope, like one can, I, I'll try it. Did you guys know you can blood farm with a dead hired hand? What do you mean, like the, you can get blood out of the already dead hired hand? Cause I didn't know that. Did not get to play Alex, daily took like three hours right. Uh, off screen jank, she's stunned into spikes on, oh man, on 982 or 84. Ugh. Okay, where am I? 2-4. Oh! Get out of my face. Careful to not get stuck here. There we go. Anything? Uh, let me look on the left, see if there's anything good here. Like health-wise, nope. Still at two health. You can use a dead hired hand with two alive vampires. Right, right, right. I mean, you use it as a, you basically use it to trigger the blood for the vampires, right? Is that what I'm hearing here? This is, when I do stuff like this right now, this is always just wishful thinking. Um, although I did have... I did once have the, whatever the light arrow is called. I've had it loaded into the bow. Once. Once in my life. Mind you, never beat Hunden yet, but I did have that. <clears throat> Whoops, that was not great. That's fine. But yeah, has anyone here played uh, Hypnospace Outlaw? Just curious to see if anyone has any takes on it. I guess it was a little bit cowardly to not try to do this earlier and get the on on my daily run because I guess I really don't need the cape for this for this specific way that I do this. Ooh, this is a little bit tight. That's kind of doable. You didn't have jump boots on the pressure. That's true. It's true. It would have been very hard. Did I, have the, I didn't have the gloves either, right? Yeah, it was, would have been a nightmare. I would have died for sure. I'd like to say like clockwork, but I have messed that up in the past. And in the past, by the, in the past, I mean yesterday. <laughs> oh, the fond memories of me messing this phase up on a very regular basis. But now watch what's gonna happen. So I'm at 
two health, and now I'm gonna get chipped down for one from some bat or spider or something. Preferably out of a pot that I broke myself. Um, because why not? Or a waking up skeleton because skeletons are never bad, right? I'm like, oh, skeletons, come on. Get your friend. See, there's the bat. Let's get the hell out of here. health. I'm definitely gonna that's worth rope. Well, I guess I didn't need to rope that, right? That's probably, that was probably doable without a rope. I assume. Oh boy. Cool. Cool. That's where that was gonna happen. Sweet. Wait one second. I just need to check something here real quick. Oh god, I love spam texts like this. What did I just get? Fraudulent actions filed on your social security number. Yeah, you too. Go to hell. Go to hell. Go straight to hell. Uh, sorry, I gotta just look at this real quick. From Idaho. That sounds really reliable, doesn't it? Let's see, delete, goodbye. Sorry, just need to get that out of the way so I don't have to look at that garbage. Okay, um, what happened right now? Uh, you ran right past the door too for reasons. Yeah, because I was looking at my phone. Not a good idea, it's never a good idea. Um, Chaos mode engage. If you beat hunting with a dance pad before you do it with a controller, you owe me. <laughs> yeah, right, because that's going to happen. What am I doing here? I'm trying to... Yeah. just want to not get... Well, the good news is that I have to die in a moment anyway. We gamble here. Do I wait for this to let's not get hit by these? There we go. Another one down there? Yeah, whatever. You're not coming up here. Okay. I'm doubting me, not you. You'll do it. I will definitely not do it. I don't even have a dance pad. I'm not buying a dance pad to do a thing that's never gonna come to pass. slim, but it could happen. Ooh, shotgun time. Okay. Okay, let's see what's going on. Okay, I came from there. Don't want to get killed by that. Let's get all this money. For whatever reason, I want that money. It seems to be important to me. One one in testing. Wow. It seems that seems so hard, right? Like anyone who can pull that off, like 
I mean, I bow to your superior hand-eye coordination. Oh, sorry, hand-foot coordination, or eye-foot coordination. Oh, come on, one of those pellets. I'm like, one of you has to hit it eventually, right? I mean, it's more of a, like a whole body thing, right? It's not just your feet. Whoa, that was close. That was way... That's also a thing that's happened to me one too many times lately. Right? That I messed that... that I straight up messed that up so bad. Okay. What am I even trying to do here? Oh, of course I got hit by it. Of course. Of course. Make sure that I don't miss where the back layer is. Looks like it's farther down. I feel like I just heard it's there. Let's get down here. Didn't I just hear the pug or a pet or something? I feel like I did. Come on, man. Or was that just... Oh my god! So many bombs. Well, I'm getting those on the way out. Oh boy. Yeah, if there is a way out. Let's get... Let's end, let's end this nonsense here. <laughs> Why do those fountains not overfill the pools? That's a broke weight. Because video games, my friend. Hmm. Okay, I can pull off... Do I want to skip here? Probably, right? So I should at least try, right? So this looks pretty, I don't know, does this look clean enough? Let's look at the other side. This looks clean, this looks super clean, right? I can definitely do this. So I go here, here, oh wait, I forgot, oh no! Look at what I did again! You have got to be kidding me. Okay, I'm, I'm just bad at this game, right? My brain doesn't work, right? Want to become famous? I definitely don't. Not the way I'm playing it right now. Someone even said, okay, I'm pausing the game. I have to, sorry, I have to ban this, this, whoever, whoever this person is. Uh, ban. Yep, done. I'll help you out. Okay, what do I do? Seems doable. How do I, uh, how do I get back out of there? So I'll pause it. Because last time I did this, there was a block, push block there, and I was able to push it right underneath the exit so that I could put the sword back out. Um, but I'm in no hurry. In fact, I'll pour some coffee. Uh, rope left side of left block, right side of right block with a block in the middle. Left side of left block, right side of right block with a block in the middle. So you mean all the way over here? So you mean, it's because I, I only have one rope left. Thank you. I only have I only have one. Yeah, I already and I already do it one over. I only yeah I already used the ropes. So can I do this with the with Excalibur in hand? You're dead. Okay. Well, let's try it anyway. Well, I might not get the. Let's wait till that ends the drip. Um. I do tend to die here, because I, well, okay, here. Oh, wait, that worked. Maybe I can even still get, yep. Yep, yep, thank you. Uh, yeah, I got this, I got the setup. I just forgot whether I, would need to leave Excalibur behind, but I guess I really don't. Um, oh, careful, let's not die to that. Well, I have a, I have an Ankh, so I guess it's not the end of the world. Ah! Jesus, 
course you had to hit me exactly. Okay, where's, uh, where's the, it's over there on the right, okay. Oh, Jesus! Oh. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God I did the skip. Is the, please tell me that Excalibur is still there. Where's Excalibur? I can't see Excalibur. Does Excalibur blow up? It's gone? What? You have 30 bombs, okay. So I've never killed uh, this. I've only ever used uh, the, the like Excalibur. I didn't know that you could even kill without drop near ledge, pick up just drop them on, drop near ledge, pick up, drop again. Uh, they're sticky bombs. Right? So here? Or here? Can I whip them down? I cannot. The answer is no. So I have to pick them up and drop them again. Oh, I just dropped two instead of picking one up. Good job. So I have to wait for King Yu to come over? Okay. Come on over, bud. That's not gonna stick. Drop right above them. Okay. Is this gonna be good enough? Okay. Oh boy, I think I need to go over to the other side. Because now I'm missing again. What about over here? Now I'm gonna miss again. Oh God. Ah. <laughs> Wait, I have, yeah, I was about to say, I have the, oh no, not there. Uh-oh. getting too close. I don't want to get crushed here. So let's go through the back layer again to get up to the top. Oh boy. Please don't get poisoned here. There we go. How many bombs? Just climb up the other side. How many bombs does this thing need? Forty bombs or ten bombs and 150 whips is never happening. I'm sorry. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter now, right? So let's just try this again. Oh boy, that's great if I miss it. No, no. Okay. Oh, God. No, oh, look who's look who's still... Oh, I'm back down to two health. I, w I hope that I get at least one decent seed today. <laughs> this is... This is absurd. Because uh, there's no way I'm going to survive 40 whips now. Right? I'm not, yeah, I'm not good enough at this part. Uh, no, yeah, no. That wasn't gonna happen. 150 whips, no, that was not gonna happen. 10 o'clock. Ooh, okay, that was close. 
Last run, last run of the day. Last run of the day where I immediately have to waste a rope. Great start. Post my person best dead to the eggplant discord. Okay, we'll check it out before we uh, sign off today. Uh, but if you want to make sure I don't forget, just post it in the chat later before we, before I close. Because um, I would, I would like to see it. Uh, oh, good. That's nice. Okay, off to a better start. Off to a better start. See you. See if I can not die to every single thing under the sun now, like bats. Mm, I would like that compass, but I'm not sure it's worth going back up. Is it though? Three ropes. Eh, I think it might be, might be, right? Oh no! Well, it's... <laughs> oh, boy. It was, not worth, it was not worth two health and a bomb and a rope, that's for sure. Let's just do it this way. That triggered. Oh, look. Look who it is. When in doubt, also run into a spider on the on the end. Okay, still at four health, still not looking terrible. Okay, there's the chest. Wow, easiest chest I've seen in a while, and it looks like I'm going to get half of an Ankh, too, in 1-3, so that's cool. Let's just block you guys off so that you don't get in my way while I'm doing this. Avoid all exits at all costs. There we go. Let's go get the money, because I'm greedy. Huh. Man. I mean, I'm not complaining. This is going way too good right now. Automatically curse itself with comment. <laughs> Very nice of you to give Quill back a hug. Yeah, I thought so too. It's just like me. You know, just gotta develop my voice here. Okay, 
Great. Give me something good. Give me something good. Yep. Well, ropes would actually have been better in that situation, but fine. Uh, Aphex wind shirt. Yeah, I just got it recently because I made I put I put down a gigantic like probably like seven or eight vinyl bleep order, probably around November. Um, and when I do that, I just go bonkers, right? I just order. Ooh, I don't like this. I don't like this. It's not. Not risky. What I just did there. You're coming with me. I got that and another Boards of Canada shirt. I already had one, but it's so washed out. Man. It was a generous run. I guess the Spelunky gods were listening. You're going down there. I'm not dealing with you. We're gonna get stopped on. Don't, I'm not gonna concern myself with that. Well, wait a second. This is too easy, right? This just straight up saves a bomb. Free rock dog. E is the rock dog free though? I still have to tame the rock dog, and if I miss the jump, the rock dog's not so free. Yeah, I'm not doing that. This run's going too well to mess it up by, like, a very much not needed rock dog. Like, I have 23 bombs. If I want, I don't even have to trigger, uh... I don't even have to trigger the drill, which is looking more and more likely now, because I'd like to actually have a good outcome of this. I was more free when it was on a single tile. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. On the single tile, it was definitely free. Oh, let's get out of here. Don't, don't, not dealing with you. Oh boy. Oh, there's the challenge. Let's do that. Ooh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What just happened down there? Maybe I need to get out of here? Nah, it's gonna, it's gonna cool down. Yeah, portable turkey cooker is fantastic. I agree. That the uh, yep it is. Crates up there. Man, Jesus Christ! What? A stuff here. Oh, there's the pug. Wow. Have I ever seen the pug inside the challenge? I don't think so. Oh, don't kill it. Oh, Jesus. Don't kill myself. Okay, let's keep you there for a second. Axolotl is the cat of this game. Get pug. I think I think I'm gonna get. Come on, put you up there for a second. Get bow. I said the same thing I last time I found the pugging challenge. Yeah. Oh, that's not great. Yeah, 50 years old. First time dad at 50. Enough said. There you go. There's my. That's where my memory went. Uh, let's do this a little bit more carefully. Let's do this and this. Where am 
my tutu. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Uh, okay, I was about to ask, are you going for the moon challenge when you got 15 bombs? Well, and a pug. And a Kapala, right? Like, that was... I started going for the moon... Pff, man. What a seed. Is there any way to look up the seed that you're running? When you're running it? Probably not, right? That'd be pretty cool. Like, if you'd be like, oh, this is a really fun run. Memorize the seed so someone else can try the run. Not actually. Three health. Two of the pug, but uh, sorry, the Kapala, but yeah. Let's see if you can fend on. Let's see if you can fight on your own, my friend. Oh boy. How about I don't die in the in the waning moments of this? How would that be? Ah oh, man. Sucks. Ugh! Can I do this? I think I can. This is a little bit dangerous. Why am I doing this? Why? Why? Cook, 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 cook. Yep. Stay out. Get, get out of my face. Sack pug for jelly. I should have. You're right. I should have. Um, leave the bow. <laughs> yeah, I should. I should have left the bow. That's correct. Not there though. Not leave. Don't leave the bow there. Oh, here's the exit. So I think at 41 bombs, there's zero need. Get out of my face. There is no need for me at all. Yeah, I'm just getting the hell out of here. Yeah, and, again, maybe you can, maybe this buddy here can figure that out. Yep. Oh, gee. Okay. Can I please not die to... Wait, did I? Oh, wait. Yeah. I'm like, where's my cape? I'm tired. I'm tired. Okay, it's a start bomb in here. It doesn't really matter. Does not bode well for a workshop I have to teach at 6 p.m. tonight. Oh, be a little bit more careful here what I'm doing. I do have five ropes just in case I need to rope myself somewhere. That's, this is pointless, this is stupid. Whoa, 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 those sparks don't ignite that? Actually shocked. <clears throat> I would have laughed my ass off if that would have hit me. Trying to snatch defeat out of the jaws of victory. That's my name. Snatch defeat out of the jaws of victory. Yep, that's me in a nutshell. Because it wouldn't be exciting enough if it wasn't like that, right? Mm. Clearly, I'm. We have two. We have too little excitement in our lives these days. Obviously. There's not enough going on in the world, so I have to spice it up. So this is easy. Thank you. Thanks, bud. Okay, so now I obviously have to do some farming, but I'm bad at farming vamps, so I'm just gonna farm these. I'm just gonna do two stages of this. Somehow I managed to get killed by the vampires. And let's face it, at this point, at least as far as I can tell, I don't die to, like, 
to like dying on health is just not a thing. Okay, you know what? We could try it after all. Let's try it. Wow, that killed it? That seems wild. Okay, come on up here, bud. I don't want you to take that arrow from me, but you're gonna, right? Come here. Thank you. Come back. Ah, see? I keep on messing up the, the throw and the grab. Okay, there we go. 11 health. That's decent. That seems fine. Get out of here. This is not the way I came, but let's see. You need two vampires and one helping hand. Okay. Oh, I, I mean, I used to do it with... I tried it with two vampires and not a helping hand. Maybe that's why it didn't work. <laughs> Whatever, it's looking pretty good for now, right? How am I gonna mess it up is always the question. How am I gonna mess this up? Well, first, let's put that away. Okay, looking good. Man, now all I wanna do is play Half-Life 2 instead of the games I have to play for work. What a terrible life I lead. Sorry, Half-Life Alex, not Half-Life 2. Alex for eggplant? No, unfortunately no. The Alex thing, hi Pastoral Mac, the Alex thing just came up because Jeff Bandy and others were just talking about how good a game it is, and I've only played the first three hours. No, I'm playing, uh, I am going to be playing uh, Hypnospace Outlaw later today, as that was written by Xavier Nelson, who's going to be on the show this week. Um, would Alex have sold 9 billion more copies? It would have been called Half-Life 3. Yeah, which it did not, right? It did not. I think it didn't do all that well. Uh, Passional Mac, have you played uh, Hypnospace? I mean, I asked this earlier and no one replied. I wonder if anyone here has played Hypnospace Outlaw. It looks cool. I'm, I think I already thought it was pretty hilarious. I haven't. I just watched it. Funny. But yeah, I have a bunch of games to play for and prep for the show today. Ignore the bats, ignore the bats. Flying rats, ignore the bats. See, I do that dumb stuff. And then I like kiss the snake instead of killing it. Whatever, I got 13 health, I think I'm good. Yeah. I'm good up there, can't see because I don't have the gloves. Fine, let's just get out of here. Paste, five ropes, so a couple more ropes. Like a couple more ropes, that'd be nice. Uh, it says I keep hearing it's great, but my only VR is built into my cell phone with a goggle attachment. Uh, yeah, I got I got a Quest One. I guess a little bit over a year ago. Thanks, buddy. That was kind of you to protect me from that. Hey, 
and, uh, and I bought like a third party link cable and it works like a charm. And that wasn't that expensive, right? That thing was like $3.99 back then, and I think the qu isn't the Quest 2 only $2.99? So like you get a better Quest for like $100 less. It's maybe worth it, right? It's maybe worth it for that game. Depends on how much you want to see uh, CD17, I guess. Uh, let's leave that here so I can grab that. Grab that right away, because I have a tendency to forget it. confirm quest 2 is pretty great although some of the games are clearly not meant for small humans i mean half-life alex is definitely not meant for small humans had to pick up my daughter so she can reach high up items in the virtual world wow uh interesting like in that case i'm surprised that they wouldn't have a setting for that right where it's like here's my actual height let's get out of here oh i don't want to get hit by you don't do that thank you okay i'm not gonna go for well I'm gonna do the skip, so I guess health isn't bad, but yeah, let's not. Oh yeah, do I have the, you know what? I don't have the prerequisites for this to not be a disaster, I think. Well, let's see. Oh, there we go. I might be able to do this. Nope, not like that, that's for sure. There we go. And now, I, because I have to pick up Excalibur anyway, let's just drop the shotgun. We found the small human setting hours later. Nice. Um, I mean, those things are also pretty big and not super light, right? So if you're a small human, it's also not the easiest thing in the world to, like, have on your head. Oh, dude. Oh, that's close for a change. Okay. So I know I'm going to skip. So it means I'll have to go back up, but that's fine. I'll leave Excalibur here. Or let's say like this. I'm going to attempt to skip. This looks pretty good, right? So I'm just trying to find, no, there's a gem up there. So I'm trying to find three clean spots. So this one, this one, and this one. This looks pretty good, right? Oh, taking too long, taking too long. Okay, let's wait a second. It's funny how in the smooth particle hydrodynamic solution, two more ropes. Mm, this kind of sucks. Let's drop it here. In this, in the SPH solution that they did there. Okay, now I have to actually, quote unquote, fight my way back up because I need to get Xcal. Which, oh boy, that was. Weirdly lucky. Oh boy, that was not. Oh, come on! Ay, 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 ay. Okay, still at 11 health. Still not gonna engage with you or with you. Or with you or with you. Not gonna go 
through there either, because I almost did that just now. Oh wait, no, it's over there. Don't go through the wrong door, thanks everyone. Hey Ben, um, I am going to, I know maybe I shouldn't be doing this, but I am in desperate need of a sip of coffee, so I'm gonna take a very short break. Um, But yeah, uh, to reiterate for people who weren't there earlier, and for those of you, for the few of you who are interested, I am doing, I had an amazing weekend of music making. Like sometimes I work on one track for four weeks, and then yesterday I wrote three tracks in a day, or two days ago, right? And I like them all. So, mm -hmm. and I didn't have to do a whole lot of stuff to make them better. So it's just like, I'll, I cannot live long, and like I'll not, be able to get old enough to understand the creative process. I, I will never understand it. Trying to encode it or understand it from a procedural point of view also seems to be a feeble attempt. So I'll just be happy and take it. But yeah, EP3 next Bandcamp Friday for sure. For sure. I knew you were going to throw people right then. Cracked gold bat. Wait, I don't have the onk. Wait, I do have, wait, I do have the, what am I talking about? Uh, I have the onk, I have man. This is going a little bit too good. Going a little bit too good. Anything else I can do here? I guess I could get that blood. Okay, remember you don't have to kill every UFO this time. Got it. Okay. So no killing of the UFOs. Is there anything I need in the back layer? I mean, I don't have the spiky boots. I'd get the spiky boots in the back layer. Right. Well, I mean, I, the one thing I do need in the back layer for sure is I need to... I need two ropes, right? Ropes, and I need to figure, I need to see where, uh, ropes and spiky boots. Yeah, so I'm definitely going in the back layer. Where's the back layer? So, I don't have to kill every UFO, but let's kill this one, right? Just so it doesn't come back to haunt me. And let's get that dude dead. I'm still doing good on time. Let's get you out of there. So first thing is I want to see, okay, right to the upper right is good old, so that's the structure I have to bomb. Drop off Excalibur. Okay, that trigger, there's no way this doesn't, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. I'd like to have a mine to drop because, oh, there's a mine. Okay, so let's just get one of those. going to forget uh get clover where is it up here oh right okay 
you're having a heart attack right now. <laughs> okay, uh, drop mine on Yeti Queen for easy kill, All right? So now, oh boy. So much health. Why am I doing this? Let's get out of here. What did I do wrong now? <laughs> Leave the way you came in. It's safer. Really? Why? Like, I mean, I'd, ha I'd need a rope. Is it because of the spikes? You just did risky things. Yeah, I know, man. I always do risky things. I always do risky things. That's how I... That's how I get places. It's also how I lose places, but it's also how I get places. Didn't we have this conversation on Friday? I know I didn't archive it to YouTube yet, but I totally should. <laughs> uh, killing King is a necessary risk that I never take. Well... Okay, so... Okay, let's keep going this way. Oh boy. Open that coffin. You da don't have Aaron. Are you sure I don't have Aaron? I think I've opened, I think I have Aaron. I'm not going back up there to open that coffin. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm, okay, okay, but what? Go back up, are you out of your mind? Okay, Xanagir, if I die here because I'm going back up, that's, it's your fault. Top, oh, there we go. Okay, okay. There we go. Take a screenshot. <laughs> I got Princess Aaron. There you are, Santa here. Finally, after hundreds of hours in this game, I finally saved you. Yeah, I mean, that had bad idea written all over it. Okay, so where's the Aaron? Take care. Take care of that. Take care of that. Sorry, someone had to do it. Oh, oh there we go. I don't like where those things are positioned. Let's do. Let's just do this. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's a little bit too close. Sack me, coward. <laughs> Okay, I should remember this. It was cracked gold bat, right? Cracked gold bat. See, my bat memory is not terrible after all. So the number of times I've died here, that's not, that's smiling gold bat, to the freaking elevators is mind boggling. So let's try not to do that. Okay, it's not there. This is garbage. Let's get over them. Okay, not here. Not here. There it is. There it is. Okay, so now I hate, hate these things so much. So let's try not to die to them. Not to die to that, please. I mean, I have 28 bombs. The fact that I'm not bombing my way out of this is slightly absurd. I get it.
Hey, Rod's not found. Epic content. This is a follow-up. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of shit going on here. Okay, so now I have to bomb my way down. Now, the thing with those lasers is that their generators are at the bottom, right? So bombing the top is actually terrible. So let's do this. Bomb that. Okay, so that got rid of some space. Okay, there's my domes. Let's go in. Let's go in here. I, I, can, I can go in. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so before I do that... Should I go, should I, can I leave the dog outside of Madame's? I've done that before and it got killed. Xanagir says you're good. Okay, okay, so that seems to be safe. So let's just do this, this, get some absurd amounts of health. And then get back out of here. Okay. So now, ooh, a lot of shit going on down there. So let's see if I can avoid that a little bit by going this way and getting some bombing action going. So let's bomb here. Let's keep on doing that, right? Just trying to not get killed. Okay, there's an elevator. Take the elevator down, see what that does. Gets us to here. The exit's down there, so let's do that. Whew. You know what? I'm gonna need a I'm gonna need to pause for a second here. Flappy bird time, oh boy. Okay. What's my heart rate? I don't know. 120, 150, more. Oh no! Oh no! Well, Jesus. Okay, my heart rate's way too high right now for a 50-year-old. Way too high. Uh, how do you recover there? I don't know. I bounced off of the laser. Clip it, is what I'd say, and look at it again. Oh, Jesus. Okay, another break. I need to drink some water. Ay -ay -ay. Okay. Whew. So. Oh boy. F you, you're dying. I don't know if it needs, it probably didn't need three bombs. Is there any reason for me, is there anything good in here? Well, I got the ninja! I got the ninja! That's my character. We got ninja. Is there anything else good in here? Okay, so let me pause here for a second because I need to figure out what I'm doing here, right? I'm looking for... Xanagir, ninja's my character. I play the ninja, right? Now kill the ninja before he kills you. How do I best... Okay, so I need to, I need to plan this out before I start doing dumb stuff, right? Yeah, I'll bomb, I'll bomb the ninja. Um, what do I do here? Do I, so I'm looking for, do I just go for Hunden or do I, do we have the bow? Did I drop the bow? I feel like I dropped the bow somewhere. Cause I, wait, no, we have the bow. It's in, I need to find Waddler. Sun challenge, you have the Ankh. Yes, and I have Excalibur. So the first time I did this, I found Waddler by chance. So how do I, what's my best bet here to get to Waddler? I'm definitely not going to Mama because I don't, that, I, right, I don't have the time for that. If Waddler isn't too out of the way, take Excalibur to the Sun Challenge. 
Waddler is always on the main path. Okay, so that would be up here, I guess. Oh, is it here? Yay! Okay, so now... Got to run to a meeting. Good luck, Andy. Thanks, Jeremy. Uh, so now I get, I take Excalibur and I go to the Sun Challenge, right? Okay, let's try this. How do I find the Sun Challenge? It's not here. This is weird. This is weird. Let's do this. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh-oh, no, 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 no! No, 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 no. There's Mama. No time for Mom. Get bow, though. Just go forward. Okay, I'm gonna go get the bow now. I'm gonna go back down and get the bow, because yeah, I don't have time for Mama. But I also don't see where the sun challenge is. It's right here. I'm at 150. Bring the bow. Oh, sun challenge is on the next level. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, what? Oh, how? Do, wait a minute. It's not always on the next. This is more predictable. How do I? Oh, so that means I can't take. I can't use Excalibur for the Sun Challenge. Is what you're saying? Is that true? Okay, let's not. I'm gonna swim my way up there. I'm at 203. 25 health. Uh, I'm at 210. Should I just get correct? Gotta bomb the spawner. Okay, so I'm just. I have enough time now to get the health here. Right, because I'm at 214. Wild. I thought that... So I'm going to pause here for another second and have a sip of coffee. I thought that... Interesting. I thought that the Sun Challenge was always on the level so I could actually use the second slot with Waddler to take Excalibur to do the Sun Challenge. Do you want help on Sun Challenge? Oh yeah, hell yeah. I have a guide you can watch that I made recently. I'll watch it. Zangir, this is the closest I've ever come to doing anything worthwhile in this game. <laughs> Send me a link. Send me a link. This is paused, uh, so I'm going to... Wait a second, let me go to title cards real quick. Open up a browser with this in it. Hey, I'm gonna full screen it. Go back. Watch this. Everyone, Xanagir here. I was speaking to someone who got to CO for the first time yesterday when he pointed out that one of the top links was still my Sun Challenge joke guide, so I thought I'd make a real one now. Also, a quick shout out to Jeremy, who edited his own guide together as well after we talked about Let me make sure, just to be sure, that this is actually paused. It is, right? It's, I think it's always paused when it doesn't have focus. ...about it and kind of came up with it at the same time. I'll start with the most consistent method, where you want to enter the room, jump up the ladder as quickly as you can, and immediately head up to the closest corner of the room. Get on the block Sorry, below I'm the gonna enemy go back as a bit well I after we that. talked about it and kind of came up with it at the same time. I'll start with the most consistent method, where you want to enter the room, jump up the ladder as quickly as you can, and immediately head up to the closest corner of the room. Get on the block below the enemy spawners and place two consecutive bombs before two. jumping over to the frog trap, making sure to stand on the edge to avoid taking damage from the other frog trap you'll be next to. You'll want to remove your jetpack and place it outside the challenge before doing this strat since flaming bodies are not very nice to jetpacks. Oh, and don't grab the arrow in between the lasers unless they're off. <laughs> The next strat requires paste and is identical to the previous strategy, except okay. it allows you to only use one bomb. 
Instead of placing two bombs on the ground, just jump up to the same corner and place a bomb right on the spawner Got before it. getting on the frog trap and waiting out the timer. This one, which we call the dry sun challenge in the community, since it uses no resources, is probably the- I don't have to, that's all I need. Yeah, I thought, I was like, okay, this looks like it's all I need to know. Thank you. That is- The most risky of the newer Very valuable strats. information. Very valuable information. Much, much thanks. Much obliged. Thanks, Anagir. Okay, so I'm still on 7-1. Right, so I have to get out of here. What about bombing out both spawners at the beginning? Does that work? Okay, let's pause this again. Sorry for everyone who this is such a big break. What about bombing out both spawners at the beginning? I don't know what Xanagar thinks about that. I feel like you'd still get overrun by stuff coming from the top. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. There you go. Um, very rough. That pokes my home screen. <laughs> Nice. Uh, okay, so let's get back to the game. Get out of here. Oh, I still have the ninja with me. Yeah, okay, whatever. Oh no, don't hit myself with that. Come on. Sorry, bud, I need, the, I need that back from you. Uh, okay, so now my first question is, so I'm look, I'm just looking for No, oh, no, 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 what did I just do? Oh, I just got back in. I don't want to do that. Uh-oh. Come on, man, help me out here. Not helping me. Let's go along the main path. I think that's what I'm doing right now, right? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Yeah, good job throwing that rope. Oh, no. Okay, whatever. I'm. Oh, I'm poisoned. Well, I'm going to have to look for a pug sooner or later, so let's keep that out here. Uh... You're fine, 30 HP, got it. Um, do I leave the, do I leave the, uh, do I leave my cape out? Probably not, right, it doesn't matter. Okay, so now go in here, go to the upper right, bomb the thing, and then stand on the corner. Fifty seconds. I'm trying. Oh, God. Where's the exit? Oh, there it is. Get out of here, you guys. Okay. Don't get the pug, get it next level. Okay, so next level is 7-3. So here I'm gonna be, yeah, getting out and AKA also looking for the pug. Right. Drop down. Uh, get back up here. Oh, ouch. No, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't throw that shit. Give it back to me. It's mine. 
don't get the pug. Okay. Where is the pug? Where is the pug? Oh, get out of there. Can't see the pug. Pug was top left, I think. Okay. So, oh, this sucks. This is kind of garbage, right? Like, how do I... Oh, man, I'm, I'm going to mess this up. Okay, I have a million bombs. Why am I... Why am I so worried about this? Let's get to where I want to go with the bombs. We went the wrong way. I'm just gonna bomb my way through this now because F it. Uh oh, another another poison source. Yay! There's the oh, there's the pug, there's the pug. But Pug's also on spikes. Cool. So let's not die to that. Okay, so now... Okay, so th now I I really don't know what to do here, right? So probably I run up, right? I need to get to the top and wait. Okay, get all the way to the top. Okay, so let's get to the top. Come on, come on, come on, Arrow. Come on. Oh, God. Are you kidding me? Get in there. I hate when I have to let go of the arrow to like whip those lobby things and then potentially die to them when they reappear because that's probably always an insta kill, right? Okay, is this the top? Am I at the top? You left the bow? Oh no! Can I wait, where'd I leave the bow? Can I get the bow later? Where did it did it break? Don't try to get it. Okay. Wait for the boss to die. I hope I didn't put it underneath something. Okay, so how do I... How do I kill this guy? How do I kill this guy? Drop sticky bombs. Okay. On their head. Oh, boy. Uh oh, not like that, not like that! Oh, like that, okay. Not throw, drop, okay. Do I have to go? Well, whatever. Three bombs per head. Uh, that wasn't it. Do I have to go to the other side to do the head? Okay, that's what I thought. Am I high enough? Do I have to go higher? Nope, this is as high as I can get. Ah, oh, nope, not, not there. Trigger trap. How? Okay, like that, maybe. We were high enough, okay. Don't go tube again, I swear to God. Okay, I'm trying. Okay, what next? I know that there are spikes down there. So how do I... Carefully descend into spikes. Well, 
called I, I dropped the bow, right? Yeah. Is the bow there? I don't see it. I don't see it, man. Well, no, it's not there. How do I get out of here? Top? Well, whatever. I keep I killed Hunden. Just leave. Is, it, is the exit at the top? It's at the top, right? I can see that. Oh, well. Hey. But hey, hey, come on. Hunden. I beat Hunden. Finally. Yay. Woo. I could have a cosmic wish, and I dropped the bow. How the hell did I drop the bow? Man. How did I drop the bow? Thanks, everyone. I mean, this is cool. I just got Spelunky Dude. Ran right into a sack. Egg sack made you drop. Yeah, ugh, knocked it out of my hand. Oh, Jesus. Man. Thanks, everyone. I mean, that's eh, still pretty good. <laughs> that's still pretty good. Wow, 1057. That took an hour. That took an hour. Jesus Christ. I got a lot. Of, I was like... I'm happy I did the run, don't get me wrong. Um, man, I could have had a Cosmic Ocean run. I could have had a Cosmic Ocean run, but no, I had to drop the freaking bow. Um, but hey, whatever. Hunden, first Hunden win after probably a collective, what, 120 hours on Steam and another 50 or 60 on PSN? Thanks, Ben. Yeah, no, I'm still happy. Um, I'm still very happy, especially now that I know that there's a pretty sure shot way to get the sun, to get through the sun challenge. And <laughs> next time I'll make it to 7.99. Yeah, right. But thanks for the vote of confidence, Sam. Very appreciated. Uh, but, but let's face it, that was also an amazing seed, right? That was an amazing seed. What a generous, generous seed that was. Um, but obviously I'm going to have to archive this video in some way, shape, or form because the first Hunden win, I think I archived the first Tiamat win as well. Uh, so first Tiamat was after like 60 or 70 hours and now first Hunden. Uh, I remember when I played Blanky HD in 2012, 2013, 2014, I think I beat uh, Olmec after a year of playing the daily and then I beat uh, Hunda, uh, beat uh, Yama after another year of playing the daily. So it was just two years of playing it where I just only played the daily. Um, this time, obviously, I've been practicing a lot more. So maybe about, about the same amount of time it took me to beat it. Uh, I don't know how long it took other people. Probably a lot sooner, I think. I think, uh, I think Xanagir said something like 60 hours to get to Cosmic Ocean. Uh, so I'm a third as good as you <laughs> at this game. Um, I'm just, I'm kidding. Um, but I think it took, I don't know how long it took, uh, it took Colin because Colin also played like 300 hours before the game was even out. Right. So I think it takes a lot of people a lot longer than 60 hours to beat Hunden. Which, which, but just for the record, I am not the last of the eggplant show hosts to beat Hunden. That, that honor now goes to Zach Gage. <laughs> um, Nice. Well, it would have been ni even nicer on the daily, but I'll, t whatever, I will take it. I will take it. Here we go. Nick Sutner, Zach Gage, Doug Wilson, Andy Nealon. It should now read Doug Wilson, Nick Sutner, Andy Neal, and Zach Gage, because that's the order in which we beat Hunden. Um, should change the order to reflect the, or the Hunden beating order. <laughs> um, this is still, you know, it took me, I was a little bit bent out of shape about the stupid, stupid bow just now. Um, imagine me not being, not being in the credits. Zaniger, did you, were you never, you're not known as a, as an HD runner, right? You would have unlocked the characters on the daily though. Oh, right. I would not have. I unlocked two more characters. Does that, let's go to the menu in a second to see how many characters I have. Cause I don't, I, maybe I, maybe I finally unlocked seeded runs where I can like put in the seed. Um, 
Hectic was added post release though for finding a client. Zanny, here, here's a stupid question for you. I'm because I'm you know I'm old or whatever. Uh, what do you, what did you run before Spelunky Two? Like, what's the thing that you're most known for before you were running this game? Um, nothing. This is your this is your career. Your career started with this game, and suddenly you have YouTube videos with tens of k's or more views. It's pretty impressive. Have you already made it to partner on Twitch? Have you managed to get the 70 on average? Because that's the thing that we struggle with, right? Because we're at like 25, because that's what the average is for this show. Um, got denied. Yeah, but, but but only because you didn't hit, hit the 70 yet, right? Like if you get, you're at 130 average and they deny it? I thought that you just had to hit those three milestones. Huh, that's weird. 5223. Haven't dipped below 75 in two months. That's really strange. Master. Oof. That's a. I just got the achievement. Master. Okay. Law abiding king liked pets. Took my first damage in 1 2. Slayed Kingu. Amazingly enough, I defeated Hunden and escaped to the surface. Nice. Do I get anything new here? I think nothing. That's interesting. I already had the pearl, I guess, because I beat Hunden in co-op. That's weird. They don't care. They want you to sit them, see them hit, see you hit them forever. Okay. Uh, I'm curious now. If I go to the main menu, play. Nope. I still don't have enough characters. I still haven't unlocked enough. It's not Bro Quint. See. I guess I still haven't unlocked enough characters on Steam. No, you do. Go to the hub. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Up top. Top right, top left. Right side of the hub. Is this where you can see your constellation? Later when you have the constellation? Got it. Does it matter which one I go in here? Keep going left. Wait, from here? Oh, wait. See, it runs unlocked. There we go. Oh my god, I've never been out here. Where does this even take me? Where does this take me? Right, I guess I'll try it. Oh wait, this will just take me back down, right? No, it just takes me to someone else's bed. Oh, I just go inside of it. That's cute. That is super funny. Back to HD. <laughs> okay, so now in main menu I can... Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Cool. This I am actually very happy about. I just realized you're playing at 60 FPS. I'm doing it because if I set it to 144, and I don't full screen it, it jerks around all the time, right? It jerks around all the time, which is really, really annoying. Uh, otherwise, I'd be playing on 144 on my G-Sync monitor. Uh, that's why I play in full screen. If I play in full screen, every time I alt-tab to something else, it minimizes the game. And I hate that, right? I absolutely hate when that happens because I don't want, you know, I have a bunch of stuff up on my desktop. Um, which is why I always, you know, I try at least not to always show everything. Okay, that's cool. That happened. Sweet. Thanks, everyone, for witnessing my first ever Hunden run. That could have been my first Cosmic Ocean run. But, of course, I had to mess that up because I wasn't... Uh, gotta get a stream deck. Uh, what's a stream deck, Xanagir? 
Is that one of those like keyboards that those little things that you have in front of you that can do all the controls and stuff like that? Oh yeah, yeah, okay. It's a switcher. Yeah, I've seen that thing before. Yeah, I'm not. I haven't even invested in like XSplit, right? I still use uh, lowly OBS, and I hear XSplit is always a much easier thing to do. Um, yeah, maybe maybe we'll up our game on the streaming. Is XSplit better? I hear it is. I hear it's easier to integrate. Timers, counters, subscriptions, thank yous, all that jazz I hear is easier, but also the biggest of the big still use OBS. I'm sure you can do it in OBS too. I'm very sure. Um, Excel is just a paid product that you pay, I think, $5 a month for or something. Um, and I, I've, I've heard it's easier to use. That's all. Uh, I've never needed it because this fulfills our needs perfectly. And so if we ever have three, five, eight thousand viewers, which is probably never going to happen then i'll worry about that stuff um i feel like xsplit just is old at this point um but maybe it is i don't know i've never used xsplit but i hear that it's excellent and that it's uh you know you, you because it's not open source and it's a paid product you get support so i don't know anyway with that i'm way over time it's 1107 i have to prepare for my lectures for tonight and uh record some more music and all that jazz so thank you very much, everyone, for watching. That was all you remaining 16 people here. Thank you for watching. That was really, really fun. And thanks a lot, Xanagir, for everything and always guiding me through this. Because without you, I would for sure not have been here as soon as I got here. Um, and Jeremy and Ix and various other people, but mostly Xanagir. Uh, my most loyal viewer, Xanagir, who has <laughs> showed me all these videos. Uh, I think Jeremy, you know what I'm going to do? Because Jeremy couldn't be here to witness this. I'm going to look on the Discord where Jeremy said, let's see. Where's the video? Jeremy said they posted something about his death. I said, oh, here we go. Oh, it's in the disc. Can I pop this out somehow? Yes, I can. No, I cannot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's pi let's try this. I'll try this anyway. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's just 12 seconds, but whatever. We'll watch it. We'll watch it as a closer. Uh, okay, let's go back to this. Oh no. <sighs> Sigh. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Jeremy. That's un that's really unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Let me turn this off. Go back here. Get back to OBS. Yeah, I definitely need. This would probably be a good thing to have a stream deck for. I admit, like I'm clicking around way too much for all this stuff. I died on 797 the other day. Oh boy. Okay, we're watching this too because that's what we do here. Let's see, for this though, I should probably move my big fat mug over here. Okay. 797, eh? This would have been your second win, or 98 is the last level. The silent disappointment is so, so painful. <laughs> just, you're just signing off? I'm so sorry. <laughs> This is so much more painful than me forgetting the bow. So much more painful. 2.5 hours, oh my god. Hey, Jeremy. We just watched your death, now we're watching Xanagir's death. Thanks, Jeremy, thank you very much. Again, thanks thanks to Zer ma ma everyone, but Xan Xanagir and Jeremy have been very loyal, constant watchers, and have been guiding me through this adventure. So thank you very much for helping me finally beat Hunden. 
Uh, first Sun Challenge in Hunden and two character unlocks. Yeah. No, I beat the Sun Challenge before, but only with uh, Excalibur. Um, and three character if you can't count classic. Yeah, right, 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 right. I don't know. I'm probably still, I'm for sure still missing characters. Uh, by the way, Xanagir gave you the Sun Challenge strat I don't like. You mean the one with the throwing the... It seemed really easy. Anyway, let's stop putting Xanagir through this pain of reliving of reliving this death over and over again. Um, let's go back to the game. Put my face back in the corner. Um, no, but that was really cool. It's the same. Put two bombs in the corner, safer and rope. Safer, schmafer. I don't know. It seemed pretty straightforward to me. Uh, maybe I could get, maybe something can spawn right next to me and I can still get hit by the big arrow trap. I don't know. Um, anyway, now I just want to play a bunch more Spelunky, but I definitely have to quit. Um, because I have to, I have to have to get to, uh, Hypnospace Outlaw and my lectures for tonight. Um, but with that, I'll say thanks a, a lot for watching. That was amazing. That was super, super fun. I'm really happy that I finally got to beat Hunden. Rest assured, this whole stream today will go up on YouTube probably later today, and I'll pack the Friday episode up there with it where we were talking about life and goals and risks and all that stuff, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, and you can tell that I wear my heart on my sleeve most of the time, which is probably not the best thing to do in this internet day and age. But hey, maybe it doesn't matter anymore because I'm old. Um, but, uh, yeah, last week's been rough. So, hey, Hunden win. Yay! Arrow pointing up. The arrow is pointing up. And the next time, I'm going to get that arrow, that big golden sun arrow, and I'm going to shoot it through the eye of Hunden, and I'm going straight to Cosmic Ocean. Uh, maybe before we have a new present, uh, which is in, what, ten, nine days? Nine days. Um, now time for Cosmic Ocean, yeah. Arrow pointing down is a good podcast. That's what the game, what the giant bombcast would call, was called before they went to giant bombcast, right? Um, but yeah, uh, thanks everyone for watching. That was lovely. Uh, <laughs> no, it's all uphill from here. It is all uphill from here. The arrows for sure pointing up. Um, this twenty twenty one is going to be a whole lot better than twenty twenty. I swear to God. Why is my frame rate dripping to 33 anyway? Whatever. Um, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I'm going to sign off now and get to work. Not that this isn't work. I definitely still consider this professional practice, but uh, <laughs> other work because it's more games and more other stuff. Um, but thanks a lot for watching. I much appreciate it. Uh, tune in tomorrow again at 9 a.m. When I, when I actually go for a Cosmic Ocean run. Uh, every weekday at 9 a.m. except Thursdays or Fridays because I have to change that again because they moved my faculty meeting to 9 um, that's probably going to mean that this will be at 10.30 on Fridays. Uh, this week we are interviewing Xavier Nelson, who is a games writer and narrative designer uh, on uh, games such as... Uh, well, I think I think uh, Xavier is working on Skatebird now, but uh, I'm going to be playing a lot of Hypnospace Outlaw this week in preparation for the show. A couple of other games too that we have, but I'm blanking on them right now, but I have a lot of work ahead of me. Um, obscure podcast references from 12 years ago <laughs> well what can i say right like i was like I, I got in on games podcasts around 2005 2006 or something or 2006 when i moved to berlin because i had i knew zero people in berlin when i moved there so i was listening to podcasts a lot uh, on my brand new ipod nano that i had bought in tokyo the year before um and uh and then jeff gerstmann got fired from GameSpot. And then everyone left GameSpot, and then they formed the other thing that would eventually turn into Giant Bomb and did Arrow Pointing Down podcast. Um, so yeah, that's an, I guess that's an obscure podcast reference from reference from 13, yeah, 12, 13 years ago. I think it was 2007. Anyway, with that, I'm gonna, with that obscure reference, I'm going to sign off for today. I wish you all a wonderful rest of your Monday. I think my brain has finally, finally recalibrated to the actual day of the week that it is. Um, and uh, stay safe, stay happy, healthy, and sane. And I'll see you all here tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Cheers.